Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build this giant freaking battleship thing. Now I remember saying uh, last time that I kind of wanted to get this thing finished before the big APS update hit and I don't think I could have failed that particular time limit any harder than I have so that's hilarious and cool and uh, just before we get diving in here, I want to thank the person, sorry I don't remember your name, uh, for pointing out that I left holes in the deck of this thing uh, before I finished off the last video, so thank you for that. Uh, that hole has been fixed. And today, basically, the plan is... Now, I've got a, I got a lot of very good suggestions and helpful tips uh, on the last video, last time we were looking at this thing. In particular, one of them, I remember, was to stick a big engine in here. We have enough room for it. A blue line engine would fit in quite well here. But um, I think what we're going to focus on today is finishing off the hull. Because I just I want to see this thing float, basically. And uh, yeah, that is basically the plan. So speaking of floating, let's just plonk an air pump right here. And let's get busy. We're going to finish off the inside first. And this thing is huge, by the way. It's already 12,000 blocks over. So I don't think we can make armor that's really thick. We're gonna go for about three... Uh, we've got this layer of wood here that's acting as flotation and spore liner. And about three layers of metal, which is not a huge amount of armor. But this thing is so huge and has so many redundant guns that it probably doesn't need really thick armor. But we'll have to see. Oh my goodness, it's already lagging. So yeah. From the desert, what can we talk about while we build stuff? I haven't a clue. So, yeah, like the up big APS update hit. I'm pretty much used to it by now. Only real complaints. Like, there are l definitely legit complaints about that update. And, whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that right now. Uh, but I think the big ones are that shields are not very good. And. Shields are not very good. Things are a little bit too expensive. Like, I think certain things should be way cheaper on the whole from the on the uh, APS front. And what else? What else? Like, was, yeah, just basically that. It's just damage-wise, I think things are okay. I mean, I just earlier today was uh, mucking about uh, with. What was I mucking about with? I was mucking about with the 18mm uh, miniguns, and I was actually getting decent damage out of them using uh, pure kin things like pure kinetics, things like a hollow point, uh, a hollow point high explosive of all things, which is absolutely weird and bizarre. It occurs to me that I should have uh, prefab the entire dang hull. Oh well, more fool me. Let's do this. This. Okay, and let's finish off right here. So, what's this now? UI is a good thing. And that's just gonna be that. So, where is that bit in the middle that's only three blocks? It's not there. It's here. It's right here. No, it isn't. Okay, never mind. Never mind then, I don't remember what I'm doing. Yeah. At some point, I'm also going to have to uh, try and establish which end of this is the front. Like, and by that I mean I just want to, like, plonk something down that lets me remember that. Because it's very embarrassing uh, to uh, create a craft and then you forget which uh, end is the front. Not a great look. Not a good look at all. There, let's stick block there. Let's do this turns out didn't need that at all. So yeah, it's been a it's been a little bit of a hectic time uh, in From the Depths Land, also in real life. Um, I was sick, and I'm better now. <coughs> of course, I say that. I've got a lingering cough still, so if I explode into coughing during this video, I apologize. I don't want to, because it's very irritating. Apart from that, I'm completely fine. I should use the fill tool right now, shouldn't I? I'll get to that. 
Oh yeah, but the uh, last uh, update that happened with the undo redo function is going to be so, so helpful for making this craft. Like, it's going to be amazing. Simply because in a craft this big, if you make a mistake, it can take ages and ages to fix. At least, that's how it was. Will this work? It did work. Did it work the way I wanted it to? Is the question. That worked perfectly. Great, I'll go do the other side. First we save, though. Save, save, save. And this thing is called the Too Many Crams. And that is will be its name for the moment. And what do we have here? Actually, you know what we should do? We should do this. This will be quicker. Do... Yeah, there's every chance that this thing is not going to be cost-effective, although, uh, oh my giddy aunt fanny. Oh, jeez. Crams are a lot cheaper than they used to be, but, uh, actually, I don't remember what this thing cost. I need to go back and look at that. I should, uh, probably also finish off the deck in here. So, this wood beam... Oh, really, guy? There we use the undo function, and that just saved me, I don't know how much time, a lot. Superstructure for this thing is also going to be quite interesting. I need freaking... What do you call, what do you call that circuit thing? Turret rings, that's it. I need turret rings for this thing. I'm going to be super... L let's... Just prefab one. Okay, we'll just do it for now. Okay, the way I like to do turret rings is I like to make them slightly longer than they are white, because that matches what my turrets are up to. Now we must prefab this bad boy. Do I want to be... How lazy do I want to be here? Being lazy in large builds is not generally a good idea. That thing is too long. Otherwise, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fruit banana? Go and let's get that gap. Yes, we do. And we could, and we probably should. Mm. Nah, let's. Uh, we can always fix it later if it turns out to be a problem. Because I just want to get on with life and building, and we're probably going to change that anyway. Uh, reasonably soon. By reasonably soon, I mean, uh, probably... I don't know how many episodes of Let's Build this is going to be. That's the uh, original reason I didn't want to put uh, APS on this. Simply because, uh, if I had started with APS on there, I would have needed to rebuild them anyway. I forgot how many darn turrets were on this thing. This is excessive. Like, if someone submitted this to me as a Scribecraft review, I would be saying excessive a lot. Let's save that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can they all rotate? Yes, they can. That means I did that correctly. And the thing is floating a lot better because, well, I say that. It's going to sink like a rock. Um, right now, actually, because this bit is open. That air pump isn't doing anything. Do 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 Jurassic Park theme tune, where did that come from? And this thing probably also needs to be sectioned off, compartmentalized, which I'm going to use wood for, because quite frankly, um like with this thing is expensive enough as it is. Yeah, right here I think. 
do 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 do. Oh, that's nice right there. That one air pump here. Stick an air pump right at the far end. Well, no, we're gonna stick one in here. In here. If this thing can float on its own, that'll be tremendously helpful because this thing will act will because otherwise it'll require a lot of power and more importantly a lot of thrust uh, to keep this thing up and out of the water, which is not ideal because uh, the physics uh, change. Oh, are you freaking? Kidding me? Okay. Right, right, right. Right, you ho then. Let's do this then. We'll have to section it off some more, otherwise the air pumps won't work. Do do. I wasn't expecting to do this. I thought I'd be working on the outside of this thing a lot more uh, during this particular little uh, episode, but it looks like I was wrong. I really should have pre like completely finished one half of this and then and then just pasted it on the other side. That would have been the smart thing to do. Did I do that? No, I did not. Is this thing also gonna... Yep, yes it is. Uh, we go there. The bright side is that... What was I going to say? The bright side is that all this extra wood in here will help it float a teeny tiny bit. Uh, the bad side is that this is even more blocks. I might have to really skimp on the armor for this thing. Because that's the problem. Do, 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 do. Great. And okay, so we've got too much volume in here. Hmm. In which case, I'm not going to bother. Not gonna bother. Interesting, it's like, this is a sign of a craft that it actually is not very compact. If you turn uh, the structural and blocks visible, if the thing looks a lot smaller and that there's the wide gaps with nothing in it, uh, not very compact. Uh, that sounds obvious, but, like, you look at the difference. Uh, you spawn in a Scarlet Dawn craft and an Onyx Watch craft, and you see the difference between them. Yeah, it's a big difference. I need to do the underside. Should I have air gaps in there? Oh, hallelujah, this thing actually floats. That is actually very excellent, because it means, uh... This is quite skinny. It's gonna get a lot less skinny in a second, though. Because I'm gonna actually strap some stuff on it. Okay, what's... Are we looking at the front? Yes, we are. I think what we're gonna do... Okay, I'm gonna do the underside later. We'll do the sides first, and that requires... So, one, two, three... This is going to be freaking gigantic. One, two, three... Three. One, two, three. Oh god, this thing is oh how many blocks? This thing is gonna be well over twenty thousand blocks. This is going to melt my computer. Hope my, actually really hope that my machine doesn't crash while trying to build this. Never mind actually never mind that. I hope my machine doesn't crash while it's fighting. Always save. 
one, two, three, four. Good, good, good. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four. Ah, no. No, wrong. Incorrect. One, two, three. Good, good, good. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. And all the way down here. Good, 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 good. We are making le progress. And uh, this darn thing is probably going to sink again. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Actually, you know what I should do? Just to make sure this thing keeps floating, I should make the alloy sandwich. So, what that means is, is that instead of three layers of metal, I'm going to stick some alloy in here. Because uh, one alloy block has a buoyancy of, 100, of plus 130. Uh, metal has a relative buoyancy of minus seven, so a single alloy block can actually uh, keep, I think it's something like two or three metal beams afloat. So that's pretty darn sweet. It does make filling a little bit harder, actually. It's less than ideal. So why are we going to do it a bit? Bit. Stick down here. Do 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 Okay, this is pure cost cutting what I'm doing right now. Like yeah, so I probably am going to have to stick bigger engines on this darn thing. But yeah, for now, yeah, yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together, I say. Okay, there, alloy. The best armor scheme, but uh, it will help this darn thing float. Mm -hmm. This is legit the biggest gosh darn ship I've ever made in my life. Yeah. Yeah, we better save that. So yeah, sorry it's a. Uh... Actually now, nah, this is kind of exciting, right? Like, how many times a day do you get to see a battleship? Are you... How long is this thing? Oh, it's not as long as I thought it was. How long? How often a day do you get to see a ship this big getting built? Like, I know this is a video game, and I know. Like, I don't know, anybody who has From the Depths and recording software uh, could uh, make a battleship appear out of thin air, theoretically. But yeah, it's like, this is the game. This is the... I f sometimes find it... I don't know, an awful lot of my playtime is just spent designing turrets and watching them shoot things just for giggles. And occasionally, like, it's a similar thing for hulls. I just... I just want to build a hull and just... Build it. Okay, so now we've done that. First layer of that. Let us... Do this. All the way over here. And all the way back here. That. Do that. Did that work? I think that worked. Got to 16,000 blocks. Thank goodness for that.
Oh, I see you there. I see you there, punk. You didn't fill all the way, did ya? Good, 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 good. This thing is excessive. Just everything about it is just excessive. Excessive, I say. So I can't bleeding till. Ah, uh, yeah. It's one of the reasons I don't actually like to work uh, straight up with metal. I remember actually uh, people have asked me to do many tutorials, which I planned on getting around to all of them, by the way. But uh, what, uh, I remember the basic boat tutorial I made the other day. People were asking me, so how about an advanced boat tutorial? Eh? Eh? And I was like, sure, I should. Like, as soon as I figure out what constitutes an advanced boat. Like, there is a, like, basic boat? Okay. Like, it's pretty... That's a pretty clearly defined thing in From the Depths. It's just, it's a thing that floats, and it functions, and all that stuff. An advanced boat can have lots of things on it. Just, it can... It could have uh, things like breadboards, it can have ACBs, it can have it can have all warp rods, all kind of wacky things. So what's an advanced boat and what isn't? Not sure if this counts as, as an advanced boat. Okay, this thing is already looking a lot more beefy, just with that armor right there. I'm gonna need to do that again. I'm gonna make the ends, uh, saving the ends for last, by the way. Good, just prefab all this jazz. Do and whoopsie poopsie. And this. Three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Wait, what? Take your time. No hurry. Yeah, that was not what I wanted to do. I could have controlled uh, control Z in that, but I elected not to. Do 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 do. do. I have no idea what tune that is, so don't ask. I do not know. Now let's be intelligent and use the fill tool to its... I hope I haven't forgotten. Uh, this is a problem. Uh, this thing is so... Oh, goodness, it's 17,000 blocks. 17,000. If this thing ends up being bigger than Robos' Ragnarok, I will cry. I will cry right in my tiny little hands, I will, I will. Here. Dang it. Actually, I wonder... See, I didn't play From the Depths from the beginning. I wonder if there was a time, long, long ago, where there was not a fill tool. Because I cannot imagine playing this game without the fill tool. 
it would just it'd be too tedious and saying this like there have been times in which I've just completely forgotten to use the fill tool which has been very embarrassing thankfully that's mostly happened when people aren't watching me do it which is great do 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 fill tool and where am I here I am I'm going to be cocky and assume that everything on that side happened as I wanted it to. Now I could just stick slopes on here and call it a night. But no, we, we, have, we, have, we, 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 we have more pride than that. Jeez, I hope I actually do manage to finish the hull, or at least get it somewhat complete uh, before, like, an hour is up. Hmm. Too many crap. Too much hull is what we've got going on here. I hope this alloy trick was a good idea, because that is going to be a pain in the patootie to undo if it turns out not to be a good idea. Actually, from... Yeah, from uh, the right angle, this thing is going to have pretty ridiculous armor stacking. Anything coming at this edge is going to be going through multiple layers of alloy and metal. sure what to ramble on about exactly like when you have everything under the sun to ramble on about nothing springs to mind immediately I don't know what what what's something how about the platypus 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 platypuses yeah that is the that is the the, the what you might call it the plural of platypus they're pretty weird like it's a sobering thing to think that uh, you have monotremes, you have marsupials, and you have uh, placental mammals. Like, there's bigger categories than that, but like, one, like, there's just these remnants left of the monotremes. There's like, what is it? There's like two species of echidna and the platypus. That's it. A more lonely existence I cannot imagine. Like, poof. I do remember reading about the platypus, and when uh, preserved specimens were first sent from Australia to England, uh, the, the the scientists uh, back in England thought it was a hoax. They couldn't believe that this thing was real. I don't blame them, because I've seen a platypus in the flesh. It didn't look real. It looked like its own thing. It was just like, hey guys, I just hopped into this reality for a bit. Look at my beak. Oh, and uh, don't touch me. Uh, because uh, I'm a I'm a dude platypus and I have venomous spurs on my feet and uh, I will kick you into next week I've got these a uh, weak little uh, webbed feet kick oh no what the hell guys this is what I get for rambling on about friggin platypuses while building stuff oh uh, boy let's try that again shall we Oh my god, look at that. That is the sexiest thing I've seen all, all day. Ah, uh, well, nope. Let's try this again. Let's not be hasty. Let's do this bit first. Praise the undo button. 
could not actually couldn't have come actually building uh, this uh, thing couldn't have come at a better time because crams are cheaper and more viable than ever and uh, the undo feature is here and it's brilliant <laughs> did that go well? Yes, it did. Okay, this d darn thing can't float on its own. I'm going to cry. I will cry big, salty, border-wise tears. I keep saying that as a threat, like, like, if something doesn't happen, then I will cry. It's a pretty good threat, you have to admit. You don't want to see me cry. It's, uh, it's embarrassing. It's just, yeah... I don't like crying. It, crying is one of those things like, uh, and you can go on about like, her, her, guys, guys don't cry. It's just shut up. Everyone cries. If you're a human, you cry. Sometimes life, like all you can do is like, let it out in a big snotty, teary mess. And while you're, it's one of those. Ah, oh, shakes. Oh no, that that was right. Wait, never mind. It's one of those things like, while you're doing it, it feels. Awful. It's like you, because you're miserable, or you're overcome, or whatnot, and that's why you're letting the 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 waterworks gush. But afterward, once you've let that all out, you just feel it feels so good. Like you feel, I don't know, you kind of feel refreshed, apart from being covered in your own fluids. Heh <laughs> heh Friday night. But yeah, interesting. How did I get on this topic? I was talking about. Oh, dang it. I was talking about battleships and platypuses before. I guess it takes about half an hour for me to truly uh, get talking off topic. But, yeah. Thanks for sticking with it, because here we are. Let's see if this bad girl floats. Now that I've stuck so much metal on her. But also a buttload of alloy. Let's see, let's see. Hey, look at that! Not only is she floating, she's floating pretty well. Yes! Actually, that's perfect. I couldn't have... I couldn't have asked for that to be done better. Uh, we are almost at 20,000 blocks, which uh, is not as terrible as I thought it would be. She is a tall gal, though. Look at that. I actually might need to get rid of some of the alloy in the lower part uh, of the hull. So because she's actually floating a little bit uh, higher than I'd want her to, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Let's uh, let's uh, add some slopes. Let's add some slopey slopes. Should finish off the ends actually. We'll just put these things here for now. Slope her out. You know what I could do? I could stick railings on this thing. Ooh, should I do that? Uh, yeah, comment below if you want me to stick uh, railings on this uh, on this thing. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. That'd be that'd be so minty fresh. Because I've never stuck railings on like any of my craft. Also, planning to have uh, well, I say big superstructure. Everything on this thing is big. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have a uh, big superstructure on here because. I remember back in the day, I used to never put superstructures on any of my craft, like, ever. And, uh, I feel that maybe that was a missed opportunity. This is a weird-looking thing. That is a weird-looking hull. Like, it's not bad, but, yeah. Hmm. Let's test fire this thing. Just while we're here. Uh, Marauder. Okay, I did shoot myself. The Marauder's non-existent right now. Okay, so, lesson learned there. Is, uh, don't do that with the secondaries. They will shoot each other. It doesn't matter. There's going to be a superstructure, like, actually covering them. So that's not going to happen. Oh, that's annoying. Listening. Come on. 
Whoa. Nice. Okay. What were we doing? We were... Let's... Which end is which? Okay, this is the front. That's good. I am now going to round this thing off. Because that is a good idea. And it's a good idea... Because I said it was. Yeah, I know. Three, and one, two, and one, two, and two, and two, and that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, no, that is what I wanted to do. Excellent. So now, watch this. Three, and then it's just two, whoops, then it's two slopes, stops the darn thing from... And what are those? And save that right in there. How will that do bow-wise? I think that will be okay. I think that will be a-okay. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two. And I'm gonna stick a layer of wood in here too, just because that would be a good idea, good idea, good idea. Whoops. Cool, cool, cool. That is working as intended. Let's prefab this thing. What was I doing with this prefab before? Do 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 This weirdly enough is actually gonna make uh, because there's no alloy in here, this uh the uh, bow and stern are gonna be less what do you call it? They're going to be slightly less buoyant than the rest of it. That's going to be... Ooh, excuse me. That's going to be fun and interesting. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm I should do this. In fact, no. No. Yes. There's the thing. Yes. Yes. I don't like Huh. It's probably excessive, but I like beams. I like beams. Like, ah, my god. Should I do this? Yes! Oh my god, that's horrible. That's horrible, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna get covered anyway. I really should have done the outside first. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I hope this boat does not sink. That would be annoying. Oh boy. And balls to it. Nope. Really should have uh, put this turret somewhere else. Really should have done that. I really should have done that. Yes, really should have. Mm. Oh, balls. What now? Aha! This one now. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Why is it that when I'm just humming a tune, 
the freaking Zelda theme pops into it. I have never played a Zelda game in my life. Yes, I know I'm missing out. Go away, cram. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Gonna have to prefab this whole thing and stick it on the back. Actually, should I even do that? Because I'm gonna just need to cut it up again. Uh, for, no, no, just to make room for propellers. Do, do, how are we doing? We're almost at 20,000 blocks. This thing is huge. I know, I know I keep saying that, but it is. It's so darn big. It's so stupidly massive. I need to set turret firing restrictions on all the freaking turrets. If this thing cannot solo a tier when it's done, I will... I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll quit YouTube and become a nun. That's what I'll do. Yeah, don't even try and stop me. I won't actually do that. Sorry to disappoint, but uh, I don't think I'd make a very good nun. But, like, I'm... I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like... In the, even in this enlightened day and age, uh, men are still not allowed to be nuns. They have to be monks. Yeah, I know. It's sad. It's sad. It's a bummer, but uh, that's that's the ball game. I'm I'm afraid. Although, if you are a male nun watching this, then uh, uh, congratulations. I hope you are uh, living your best life. What a weird thing to say on the internet. Oh well. Oh, well, we're all mad here. That's not ready yet. It's there. That's kind of ugly. Why did I do that? to do this. And now just a slope right there. Hey, that is a bow of sort. Now nah, let's take that off. There we go. There's a bow. 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 Okay, I'm not going to prefab that. I have decided. Maybe I will prefab it just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Prefab it from here. Make sure it's pointed the right way. P. P for prefab. And. Gonna need that to be two. Thank you, thank you. Ah, dang it. Nope. One lower. And. No, wrong one. Um, uh, not width, height. There we go. We now we go to the other side, and we just need to ch chop off the pointy bit. Actually, chop off the bottom. Just making sure we have done this on the right side. We have. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Still need to do the underside of this thing. Yeah, I don't think this thing should be any thicker than it is already. Yep, because we're over 20,000 blocks. And let us... Take all this off. We don't need it. Probably shouldn't stick props on it just yet. No harm in doing this. There we go. We have enough space for three props back there. Lovely. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, so we now got a front end, a back end. Let's just cover this. Save again. How's that look? Really need to... Okay, no, I know which end is the front, I know which end is the back. Probably could... You know what I could do? No, I'm not going to do that. Not as sexy as I hoped it would look. Oh, well. That's the ball game sometimes. Okay, now I've got to... What is... How many of this? One, two, three... I am not going to armor the underside too much. Could stick two layers of metal on here. I'm not going to do that. I am instead going to have one layer and an air gap, which is also known as a wet space. Because it's where babies wet their diapers. I am just joking. That is not why and how that is. Once again, I'm remembering that I should have prefabbed one end for this. Actually, I can still do that. Eh, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Nah, it's a big deal. I've wasted everyone's time now. Especially my own. And I am sorry, and I hope that uh, you meet a happy puppy or happy kitten, or if you don't like either of those two animals, I hope you meet... I don't know, I hope you're walking along the street and you see a bumblebee. Like... I'm not sure, I don't know, some people probably don't like bumblebees, but I can't imagine why not, because I love them. Bumblebees are the best. Largely because they bumble around, like, even the name alone is kind of cute. Like... That, oh no, now now I, all I can think of is that really dumb uh, song, which is like... I know. I sat on a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I sat on the baby bumblebee. I'm not sure how... I'm not sure if that's how the song goes. It's pretty dumb. But it goes something like that. Actually, let's... Wait, no. Nah, I don't need to plug you. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm Batman. Yes, queen. Okay, I think I can finish off the underside of this. Then we must all go and have a cup of tea. Mine is going to be... I actually, like, um... Uh, oops. From an old flatmate of mine, I actually have too much darn tea uh, uh, available to me right now. So I need... I should, you know what I should do? I should be adventurous and try some of it. Is this a good idea? Should I? No, I'm not going to do that. We're already uh, pushing it as, as it is. I was going to cover that in another layer of metal, but that might be a bit ridiculous. Now we're going to do the most spectacular fill you've ever seen. Crud. Nope, didn't want to do that. That was very stupid. Well, I kind of did want to do that, but not the way I did it. Hmm. That is going to have no armor versus torpedoes. But that's okay, because this thing's so darn massive, it'll take torpedoes forever to deal with it. Actually, you know what I'll do? I will compromise and do this. Just so it's not completely terrible. Oh no. I did that wrong. Crud. Wait, no. That is so much quicker than what we used to have to do, which is do everything the hard way. Now we do this. Wah, too far. 
cool, cool, cool. Okay, and now we do this, and now we do that and that. Getting an underside in here. Cool, we have a damp spot. We have a nice big air gap. Good luck trying to get anything uh, with heat shells in here. And probably Hesh is also going to struggle. And it didn't take as long as I thought it would be, which is very nice. Uh, very nice, very nice. How many blocks? Uh, two. Uh, over, still over 20,000 blocks. Yeah. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Need to get a wiggle on, border wise. Hull's not complete. You need to complete that hull. What are you doing with your life with an uncompleted hull? Very bad of you. Do, 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 do. Cool, cool, cool. Whoop, and... Yeah, I know I could just uh, make a really big area and then hit fill. I'm scared that'll mess up. I'm not ready for that in my life yet. Okay, so before I do this... I want to do this, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I actually quite like the... I envy people who can make the insides of their ships look just as good as the outside. Because I'm still at the stage where, like, I have to kind of like, mentally force myself to uh, make uh, craft look good on the outside. Like, mostly it's me, with me, it's limited to uh, block shaping and a paint job. But other people, oh, they, they show everyone else how it's done. They make things look sexy, sexy. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, we're almost there, people. Almost there. Oh, isn't that the best underside you've ever seen in your life? Probably not. Save it, save it, save it, save it. It's very quiet. I... I don't know. Does anyone know anything about what music, kind of music is going to be in the final release of From the Depths? Because I am dying to know that. Because I tend to dub music over uh, pretty much every video I do. And it'd be nice to know... Uh, when or if I should stop doing that. that that'd just be sweet because I don't want to keep doing that and then people will be like Borderwise what are you doing there's a totally awesome in-game soundtrack that we're like you can't hear you're missing out and I'll be like what so when that happens people will be sure to let me know because otherwise I don't know I'll probably forget like there are times I wonder like how I can remember that my head is meant to be on my shoulders So oh, laggy, laggy. Actually, that's not looking too bad. Yes. Definitely not actually the thickest armor uh, in the world right now. No way, crud. Now it's the two meter things. I could have built this whole darn thing way more efficiently this episode. I could have prefabbed and done all kinds of cunning, insidious things to make it even quicker, but yeah, jeez, the fill, the fill key, and darn it, darn it, I mean the fill key and the undo button, Gee, like, you know how much time, like, 
someone in the comments like feel feel free to calculate how much time the uh, the undo function has saved us today because I think it saved us uh, several minutes at the very least do, do, do. Whoop. No. and yes we've done the underside Right, we have just enough time to fire a salute into the air. Look at this skinny thing. How is it that this thing can have four, uh, like four meters of armor and still look really skinny? I hope this isn't like uh, the Basilosaur disaster all over again. That'll make me so sad. But in any case, yeah, let's uh, fire a salute into the sunset. That might even be our thumbnail. Don't shoot yourself, please. Look at that. Oh, I'm looking forward to this thing being fully finished. Oh, it'll be so good. It'll be so nice. You can't even see it. The thing's 240 meters long and it just vanishes in a puff of smoke. Never it fires. Totally not setting up for the thumbnail right now. No, I'm not doing that. No, stop thinking I'm doing that, because I'm not, honest. Really, I'm not. That, that, that would be silly, that would be silly. Uh, there, where's the screenshot button? No, I'm just kidding. Unpause that thing. Yeah, so uh, that's a pretty good session of building. This thing has a hull now. And, uh, not a, not a, well, not the best hull. This thing isn't going to be winning any beauty contest anytime soon. And... Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> it is 400,000 materials. It's already the most expensive. Well, no, I actually. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How expensive is the Stahl Slung? Okay, the Stahl Slung is still more expensive. Actually, let's have a side by side. Go Whoop. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. You don't do that, girl. Let's spawn in the Stahl Slung just for comparison. Because I think the Stahl Slung actually is almost as long as this thing. Nope, nope, nope. Huh, okay, this... Hmm, I wonder what the big difference is. This thing is 21,000 blocks. 17,000 blocks, interesting. Huh, this thing isn't as massive as I thought it would be. I can totally smooth out that hull a bit more. I can totally do that. I think I will do that, so yeah. On that note... Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, support me on Patreon if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build. Farewell.